what's up just use a bucket to change the color of the texture so after you're done making your graphic art go here and just click the color that you want and that's how you change the color of it you can also use the guides down here pull out an up down node on then pull out a comparison two comparisons or you can clone off of one of them one of the comparisons needs to be greater than and the other one needs to be less than put the up down into the top part of both of these comparisons the comparison that's greater than needs to go into a counter it needs to go into the counters reset the comparison that is less than needs to either go into a flag or you might just be able to plug it into the rays of a counter you might not need to even use a flag as you can see whenever I'm going down it's raising up and whenever I'm pressing up it's resetting you also want to click this counter and make sure you have the settings that I have here so this is what it'll end up looking like plug in a knot or pull out a knot plug this into off so you probably do need a flag then plug the comparisons less than into the left side of the knot you might not need this you might pull out another comparison that's greater than and plug this in from the up down plug the right side into the knot and plug the less than comparison into the knot as well plug this into the off from the knot gate right here's um, an equal comparison a less than comparison and a greater than comparison so the greater than comparisons go to the black play button and the green quit making it look like this it goes into the visible for both of those the equal to and less than comparison go into the green play and the equal to goes into the black quit you might also be able to or the less than goes in yeah the equal to goes into the black quit you might also be able to All right, you don't need that one. It appears. So all you need is this equal. And you should be good. Um Here we got to get these textures onto an object. So just pull out a box and you can see the size of my boxes and pull out a game screen. Have this game screen connected to one of the boxes. If you want to do it my way you can like customize your own camera if you want to and just pull out two types of boxes it doesn't matter what type at least it shouldn't the reason I didn't use this text object was because whenever I turn this box invisible it turned the text invisible if you can find a fix to that I would just use that there might be a fix to it if you can get it to kind of um if you can get a background 
to cover the shading of the box or if you can get a shadow on top of the sun it might cover the shading of the box that's at the bottom so if you were to put an object up here and have the text down here you might be able to find a trick if you uh, work hard enough I'm not sure though but for two plays the green play and the black play plug that into the first box and in the second box clone off the first box and put it directly underneath the uh, the first box so the second box put the quit or whatever you want into the second box's blue port pull out a world you can also use a texture with this if you're trying to change the color. You can copy my settings if you want to. All you want to do is pull out a texture and then use the paint button bucket on it and then it'll change the whole color of the whole scene. Probably making your background exactly what you want to make it. If you um, are using my settings, I'll go ahead and show you my game screen settings. You can customize it though if you want to. Pull out a, bucket, uh, a button and two ands. Plug that button into one and and the other and. It doesn't matter which port, at least it shouldn't. Plug the equal to into the top and and pull out the, uh, pull, put the counters into the other and. The one connected to the counter put into an end game and the one connected to the equal to put into swap game and then you just gotta put this uh, put in your swap settings or put this where you need to put it should just be swapping to whatever game you want it to be and you can put in the settings you know game keyword you might even be able to swap to other people's games I'm not sure if you can that's interesting if you could If I left anything out, let me know. I tried to make this as not confusing as possible. Uh, the only thing I may have left out is the sec settings for the boxes. Uh, again, it doesn't matter what box. It's important to make the play box first and then clone it and then put it directly underneath or however you're going to do it. In fact, if you want to like do this, you can like, you know, just remember, um, things are solid. It will be able to tell. I'm going to make a pixel art tutorial soon. Uh, so you guys can learn how to more easily make pixel art. You can look up my music tutorial and my FPS tutorial. And my first person view tutorial if you want to. But this is how you do this. Start using wormholes also because that'll help you save space so you don't have to use multiple buttons and stuff and you can possibly make your game longer from saving space but let me know if you are still confused or if I let anything out and I'll try to help you as much as I possibly can um, all you gotta do to make this appear more center should just be get the boxes closer together or as close as you want maybe try that one more time I wouldn't do that. I just uh, at this point, I'm gonna try customizing this uh, game screen. If you wanted to use game screen, you can just try upsizing it. You know, that might make it look better. Hopefully, that saved. Yeah, it did. Cool. It's not th this game isn't connected to anything so it's not gonna go anywhere whenever I press play uh, just you know plug it up the same way that I did the quit and it should send that signal whenever I say the same way I mean the same um, type of method not the same wires uh, you can always look at things from the Z axis if uh, 
it's hard to see things. Try sw uh, flipping to the other axis where things can be more aligned looking, you know, where certain objects are. And you can always plug a texture into here. If you need to change the color of the sky, I think that will. And check out my music tutorial. This should be it. Peace out, guys. So, like, what it's saying is, um, you know, usually after three hits, you'll fall down, no matter what. Um, but if you're blocking, then you won't faint. So, like, that's the uh, trick, and you can dodge out of it.